Hello, this is David Hillier here and I am just going to give a, a very quick video on a practical example to do with uh, compounding. Now I've seen on the internet this thing called the £10 to £10,000 challenge and the idea is that uh, uh, someone can bet every day for um, on uh, what you call an odds on bet. Now the value that they, they give is any bet that has odds of at least 1 to 10, okay, or 10 to 1 on. And I found that quite interesting because I've seen a number of people talking about, you know, what does this mean? How, how can you do a £10 to £10,000? pounds bet and actually it's a very good example of compounding so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put time here and then I'm going to put value now the idea is that you will put on a bet every day on what you would call a banker and that is a bet that is the odds are 10 to 1 on and you can start off with a very small amount and then that, that can grow over time. Now, the 10 to 1 on bet, it could be on anything, that, uh, it's any sport or anything. Um, but the idea is, is that you, you, you put this bet on. And it is quite interesting because people are, are, are trying to work out how, how does this work. Well, it, I'm going to start off, if we set time uh, to be zero... And we put on a £10 bet. Okay. And what we've got is we're going to have our odds. And the odds are just going to be 1 to 10. Oh dear. Right. Okay. That's changed my um, equal 1 divided by 10. So it's equal to 0 0.1. And then the, the, I'm going to calculate your winnings here. Now, I'm not asking to, or encouraging anyone to bet, okay, but far from it. I'm using this as an example of how compounding works and in a, a normal environment. So, we're talking about odds of 10, uh, 10 to 1 on. So, if you put on a, a £10 bet today and you win at these very, very poor odds, your winnings will be equal to one pound, okay? So, your winnings are one pound, uh, and that's just a 10 to one bet. And the idea in this is that you then take the original amount, and you take your winnings, and you invest that in the next day at one to 10. So what would your winnings be then? Now I've put in absolute sell references, so uh, the winnings then would be £1.10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it forward 10 days. And uh, you can see here I need to add this up. So that here is equal to 11 plus the winnings, which is 12. Copying them down. Yep, okay. So notice that you've got £10. Start off with £10. It grows to £11. You invest. You, you bet the £11 that you win, assuming you win, is £1.10. That £1.10 goes to your total amount. And then you keep on uh, investing. Now notice what's happening here. You The amount that you're winning is bigger than... Um, because you're investing more and <clears throat> it's only one to ten so it's only a tenth of whatever you've got now the power of compounding is such that the power of compounding is such that if you keep on doing this and you're continuing to be successful by the time you hit 73 days I'm just taking it around, there you are, 73 days, the compounding, the amount that you have invested will grow to 
£10,000. So 73 days. So, you know, you're looking here that in day 72, you would invest 9555 You would win £955, and that would come out to be 10511 and And this is the challenge that you bet on a 1 to 10 bet every day. It starts off slow and you will, within 73 days, if you're successful, grow that £10 to £10,000. Um, it's even, you know, you could even think about it, let's just say if you put in £1. If you put £1, let me extend this forward, even just starting off with £1, you grow your money initial bet after one, 97 days of betting on 1 to 10, uh, it grows to £10,000. So that is a challenge. It's a, just a brief explanation of uh, this type of bet. I'm not encouraging anyone to bet. I'm simply explaining how this idea, this £10 to £10,000 challenge would work. Thank you very much.